Hi everyone, welcome to Lapis Compass. Thank you so much for being here. Today we are doing a reading for Capricorn. This is going to be for the second half of June. We're going to look into energies and use different decks from um, Oracle decks and Tarot decks and see what's coming up for you. Capricorn, keep in mind not every message will resonate with every one of you, but your message can come through all the way in the end of the reading. Stick around, let's find out what's going on. Capricorn, oh, that was quick. We have purpose coming out for you. I believe Sagittarius got that um, as well in this series for the second half of June. You could be on a cusp, you could be, you could have a lot of Sagittarius in your chart, so it might be an interesting reading for you to watch. We have death coming out. What else is here for Capricorn? This one right here. Perseverance, okay. All right, well, let's go ahead and start clarifying your cards and see what comes up. Starting with that purpose card. I got instantly energy, and this is just for a few of you. It's not going to be for everybody, but some of you are athletes. And um, I almost get this energy of destined to be very successful in whatever sports you do. I'm getting, like, Olympic Games <laughs> successful. Um, it almost feels like your purpose. It almost feels like um, something, like I said, you were destined to do. It is just for a few of you. It's not going to be for everybody. But I'm getting very strong energy of an athlete that is um, destined to be successful in their sport. Well, let's go ahead and pull some tarot cards and get clarification for most of you here. We have three of inspiration. Okay. All of this. Well, wow, that's a lot of cards. Well, let's go ahead and see what's going on. We have a purpose card with, with three of inspiration and things falling into, play, uh, into its place. So everything falls into its place. Things are falling just the way they're supposed to be. The dominoes are just falling the way they're supposed to be. And it feels to me like almost something is breaking out or breaking down and you're dancing on it. Like it's a, it's a, it's a happy breakdown. It's an interesting energy there. For some of you, this uh, a set of beliefs that's breaking down here. And I feel like you are coming closer to your destiny, to your purpose here. Look at that, Muse of Inspiration. This is your path to your destiny right there, and you're right on it. You're on the right path. Something you're very passionate about, something you do as a career as well. Inspiration is once, talks about career here. Lovers, a choice. You're making a choice, a very close to heart choice you're making at this time, two of inspiration. Again, being in between two, making the choice here. And a glow up. This is that success. This is that um, I'm getting international fame for some of you. That's the energy that is coming through. I'm getting a glow up and success. Very interesting energy. As you come into peace with who you truly are and what you're supposed to do in this life. That's what Five of Voices is talking to me here. It's like some of you, you have this push and pull. Should I go for what I truly want to do? Should I not? And the energy here is that you're making peace with that. You're going for what you really truly want to do in your life. And that's what's bringing you success. The world, that success. I'm getting success with this. A completely new cycle in your life. And like I said, for some of you, you are destined to be very much famous or known. Interesting energy coming out there. With the Ace of Voices in reverse, I feel like... There is this energy kind of nagging on you that maybe it's not the right path. Maybe this is not the right time. Maybe it's not right this, not right that. I feel like it is. But the Ace of Voices in reverse, I feel like it's time for you to stop listening to this nagging voices in your head. Or even if it's people around you who's telling you that you uh, that that's not for you. Or you maybe, you know, it's too difficult to break through in this kind of career. It's too difficult to succeed. It's time for you to listen to your own judgment. It's time for you to listen to your intuition here and not necessarily to this uh, negative, negative voices in your voice, in your head or all around you because I do feel there's a lot of success here for you. What an interesting energy. Okay. All right. Well, let's go ahead and clarify this death card. What is that here for, for my Capricorn? A hermit is coming out. Nine of emotions. Interesting. <laughs> the moon, four of emotions. 
emotions and knight of emotions i am getting a transformation here and when it comes to your um lifestyle some of you have been uh, in this hermit mode in this um, energy of being by yourself being uh, kind of almost uh, secluded in some way maybe not going out much not connecting to many people just spending a lot of time in in um by yourself in loneliness here i'm getting a lot of energy of either meditating or becoming a little bit more spiritual a little bit more connected to spirit again that nine of emotions working on yourself working on your inner truth working on your inner self here developing that transforming your belief system as well but also i'm getting this energy of ending um that lonely um loneliness that that secluded energy i'm i'm getting you coming out of yourself a little bit i am getting you becoming more spiritual and now i feel like you're understanding that you're ready to connect to other people you are ready to connect to a romantic interest here and there is a romantic interest that is coming your way a uh, very strong energy of a cancer possibly connecting to you uh, somebody who's um, very much um very emotional person this person is quite emotional i feel like um, they are very um caring person kind person but i'm getting emotions from them it's almost i'm kind of i'm getting like this person is going through the moon cycles of emotions here so that's something that you might be um noticing from this person you know like uh, as the moon changes i feel like their moods change their emotions become more intense but i do feel like this person comes with a genuine offer of uh, love or relationship towards you and that death card that death brings the ending brings you beginnings and what i feel you ending is that energy of being by yourself being um in solitude and connect and starting a new cycle connecting to somebody that's what I see. Okay, Capricorn, let's go ahead and see what is this perseverance all about for you. Hierophant. The star. Nice. Chariot. Justice. And the Ace of Materials. Look at all these major arcanas. This is incredible. You have one, two, three, four major arcanas in a row and an ace, a new beginning here for you. This is a very strong message. This is a strong transformation here for you. And what I'm getting that a lot of you have been very perseverant in studying something. You could be going through university and it was not easy. This is higher education. I'm getting an energy of the master's degree or even higher than that, doctor's degree. Um, you are completing a very high level of education here your dreams are coming true i feel like this is your dream career that you're entering now and you're winning here you're moving forward uh, a lot of you are moving into a workforce here getting your not in first job in the career that you've chosen to for some of you it is a legal career it is a career that is um either in a legal field a lawyer or you know prosecutor a legal field career but i'm also getting a career um in um, some sort of government institution so this could be a political career for you absolutely this could be a career um you could be a judge that could be that for you um i'm getting an energy of law and government that's what's uh, coming here this could be law enforcement career whatever it is i feel like you took a lot of studies and you've been very perseverant and you knew exactly what you wanted to do and you're reaching the goal that your dream job is here for you now and that's what you're starting what you, you're starting the dream job huh very interesting congratulations all right let's move this out of the way we're gonna go ahead and pull some paper cards for you and see what else comes through what else we need to know what other messages are here for capricorn for the second half of june graduation vibes for some of you for sure distant horizons some of you are going on a trip to south america that's just something that came through for some of you. I'm getting this strongly. Some of you are actually relocating. You're moving your home. You're moving to a new location. Interesting. But that's it. That trip, for those of you who are going some sort of travel to South America, that was a very specific message. I feel like you're going to have a lot of fun. It's going to be a very exciting trip for you. 
Um, I am getting energy of some of you relocating and uh, some of you are relocating your whole family. You're, you're moving into a new home. Uh, this home could be a little bit further away from where you are. So not in the same city, not in the same town here. Um, some of you are relocating because you are getting married, because you are moving in with your partner here. I am getting this very strongly. Look, official man, man, female marriage. Uh, you could be definitely getting married and moving in with your with your love interest here, with your life partner. I'm getting that strongly. Uh, something you've been... Uh, okay, wow, look at this. Um, moving uh, some of you you're moving overseas i'm getting that uh, too here but i'm getting a long distance move and you are moving with your partner and you're settling down and building a family there a lot of you are uh, you've lived together with this person for quite a while but you've never really like did the you know the official signing of the um, marriage documents and that's what you're going through right now and uh, you're buying a home together you're starting a family together that family here that ten of cups this is a very happy union this is a long-lasting union this is um, uh, an energy of a family building and uh, you're starting a family with this person some of you are thinking about having children I do see a very prosperous future for this family here a very happy future you could be the main female here or you are uh, getting together with the main female but I do feel that it's a very strong union here and I'm getting again this energy of building a home actual home together you don't have to build you can move in but you you put in th your energies together and you're moving in together you're getting married here and starting a family and again the, there is a distance involved here so you could be moving from where you are right now to be and starting life together with this person in a completely new place interesting very specific message but a very cohesive message there so it is for some of you and capricorn let's go ahead now and just pull from the original tarot and see what other messages we have not covered what else we need to see what else is happening for you maybe some confirmation maybe a new message for a different group of you let's just see what we what else we need to see for capricorn for the second half of june Temperance is coming out here. Alchemizing energy, going through something and uh, making things happen. Triangles are somehow could be very significant for you. You could be see a sign of triangle quite often these days. That could be a synchronicity for you. Interesting message. Doesn't come out often. Um, I'm getting you uh, changing the perspective of how to make money and it's uh, helping you. I feel like you've been grinding for quite a while and it's been difficult. You could have been working in a job that was quite demanding here. And I feel like you're balancing your energies now. You're understanding that the rest is as important as work and you're changing the perspective of, of how to make money. I feel like you're becoming much more financially independent. If there is something in your career that you've been expecting, you've been waiting, it's time to act now it's time to take on that position of power that you truly deserve and desire for some of you is starting your own business for some of you is putting your energies together and putting your resources together and starting that new business of yours that you've been thinking about for quite a while but it feels like you were stuck in a rut you were stuck in the in the job that was like I said very demanding um, took a lot of your time and didn't give you enough uh, uh, left for you to work on whatever the, on whatever that you wanted to work for your yourself i feel like that's changing for you now i feel like you're realizing that it's as important to work on your own project as it is to you know just bring that um consistent paycheck here some of you you will be doing both for a while but you will be uh, putting more time and effort in your own project here in whatever is that, that your own business you will be building that more but i'm getting this energy of uh, you know becoming financially independent as a result of this business of yours this is what I see, Capricorn. These are the messages that are coming through for you. I truly hope this reading was helpful. I do hope you found something in here that um, resonated with you. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. Hope to talk to you soon. Bye for now.